what I'll show you now is we go to the end of the file and just select a little part of it that looks silent and play it. See that on the meter, there's actually some noise there. What we'll do first, now we've selected that portion of noise, we will do a noise removal process. Now this is under the effect menu and noise removal. Now what you need to do is let the software analyze that section of noise. So we'll get the noise profile. Now what we need to do now we've got the noise profile is select all of the file and then go back to effect, back to noise removal. What we'll do now is just click OK. You can always undo it if it's not as we expect. One, two. Right, so I'm now going to play the file. Hello. This is... There wasn't much noise in that, surprisingly, because it's quite windy outside as well. But I've done the noise removal. Now, sometimes you'll find that there's more noise than other times. So, for instance, just show you the effect when there's a fan in the background. So... You can hear me, but you can also hear a fan in the background. So as we did before, we just select a section of the noise. We then go to effect, noise removal, get noise profile. And then we, and then we select all of it. And then back to effect, noise removal. And let's just do OK. And let's have a listen. So, you can hear me, but you can also hear a fan in the background. So, let's remove that fan noise if we can. So, it's done a reasonable job of removing the noise. Obviously, if you get your microphone position right, and make sure there's nothing in the environment that's going to be too noisy, by doing a test recording first, and then you shouldn't have to worry about noise removal so much. It'll just be used to take out a minimal amount of noise. Uh, I mean, you could start to play with these parameters a little bit to maybe get a better effect, but if you're doing the recording properly, you shouldn't have that issue.